Hey. Hey, how are you doing there? Greetings, human beings and fellow aliens and Illuminati members. <laughs> you think I'm joking, don't you? Um, I wanted to go over the, uh, the uh, structure of what my lecture is going to be. There's uh, 10 points of a 90-minute lecture. We do a demonstration with uh, magnetic viewing devices at the end. But the uh, points of the lecture are going to be the uh, fulfilling in about 10-minute chunks, or less than that, actually. Uh, number one, conjugate nature of magnetism, defining polarity in the torus and the hyperboloidal geometries of magnetism and dielectricity and their nature. Magnetism as the dielectric field, what each one is in representation to the other. Number three, explaining incommensurability as it pertains to field theory polarity deconstructed and defined, both uh, connotative and denotative. Um, deconstructing, this is going to be at the end of the lecture, deconstructing particle fallacies to define a field and field interactions. Explaining Poincaré disk model of projective geometry and the constructive destructive interference pattern of, magne of magnetic viewing devices. And magnetism itself, what is actually going on in the force and motion, inertia and acceleration interplay between the hyperboloidal and uh, the toroidal uh, force and motion, inertia, and acceleration geometries of uh, both magnetism and dielectricity in the conjugate system of the centrifugal, uh, divergent, and centripetal convergent uh, conjugate field geometries of dielectricity and magnetism. Force and motion, inertia, and acceleration, definition, explanation, elaboration, uh, that all can be defined by capacitance, resistance, permeability, permittivity, permittivity. Uh, dielectric permittivity, field pressure mediation, expla explanation thereof pertaining specifically, of course, only to magnetism. Um, the nature of magnetism, talking about uh, animal and uh, other uh, growth uh, relational to uh, empirical phenomena since uh, entire uh, macrocosmic universes uh, uh, support is uh, magnetism and magnetism alone. Uh, what is light, the coaxial nature of light, deconstructing wave-particle duality fallacies of uh, atomistic reification and uh, the cult of quantum, that light has no speed. Further on about light. I wish I had more than 90 minutes. I mean, each one of these points I could actually go on further than 90 minutes on, but uh, uh, point source versus uh, coherent natures of electromagnetism is a huge fallacy that uh, thinks that uh, coherent light is... Uh, is what uh, explains uh, um, like a laser, for example, or a starlight, but uh, this specifically, as well as magnetism, we actually have to delineate out uh, coherency uh, from, uh, from a point source. Magnetism, the only thing that actually defines a magnet is, uh, is a point source coherency, and also to the notion that laser light is simply coherent light, of course, is a misnomer and incorrect. Finally, a GUT, uh, be grand unified theory. Ultimately, there's only one field and one field modality of that field, that uh, gravity is not an autonomous field principle. There is only dielectric and the loss of inertia. The dielectric as meant, that loss of inertia as meant magnetism. Uh, defining this and also using a, a lot of uh, uh, demonstration devices. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to use slides or not on uh, the diagrams, but uh, I would decided to uh, hear sometime soon. Anyway, that's the uh, main points of the lecture at the uh, Science and Energy Conference. Uh, I'll be giving on magnetism. It's hard to cram all of that stuff in the 90 minutes, quite honestly. I mean, it becomes increasingly Im impossible. I mean, I'm not that verbose. I repeat myself from time to time, but I'm certainly not going to repeat myself in the lecture, really. But uh, lumping all that together in 90 minutes is not going to be that easy. But uh, I will refine that closer and closer as the time approaches in the first week of July. Thank you so much for watching, and I wanted to point that out. As so far as the lecture is concerned, it looks evidetus. Bye.